Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Queen Queen and today we're gonna do three trade-ups. Two of them is going to be from consumer to industrial and then the last one will be from mill spec to restricted. Um, before we get into that, I would like to remind you to like, comment and subscribe for more content and also make sure to check out the promo codes and the trade-offs buy link I have in the description in case you find any use of them. Um, so let's enjoy the trade-ups and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, the first trade-up I'm gonna do is a consumer to industrial. It's a 2-8 split uh, with one Inferno Mag 7 Sand Dune, which is a minimum wear 086 float. And then there's a Scar 20 R machine from the shop shop in a 018 float. And then we got eight fillers. Uh, there's one of them that is control, it's a bit more expensive. It's nothing I would buy nowadays, but I have it saved from before. Um, that I, I prepared some of these trade-ups like not fully finished, but I have it from before. Um, so th that one is in 005 and then we have uh, the floats ranging with the fillers are 005 down to 001. There's also Inferno 2018 and Nuke 2018. And um, I believe it's two of them is Inferno and uh, the rest are Nuke. So what we really want here is the M4A for Tornado. Um, it comes in on about 30 euro. And then also the Deagle, uh, the Desert Eagle Knight, which also comes about 30 euro. This is a float cap trade up, which means we have to have an average float value under 0.01351, I believe it is. Um, uh, so yeah, everything has to be low float, fillers and all that. Um, uh, any of the hit skins are good though, and even the MP5, uh, MP5 SD Nitro is good. It comes in factory new as well, and it's a float cap skin, therefore it's also a bit more expensive than the other fail outcomes. So that will be about the break even, or uh, well, 26 cents uh, profit by the API price. Remember, just like in every video I do, uh, every all the prices are either uh, what I've bought the skins for, or what I estimate it will be worth with floats and etc. So yeah, let's just get into the first trade up. Um, let's see then. I sorted them by the wrong um, order, so we're gonna have to begin here. There we go, and then we scroll down instead. Um, let's see now. Um, okay, yeah, here it begins. Okay, good. Sorry. Um, yeah, I prepared these trade ups uh, the wrong way, so it's like the first trade up is in the top. Uh, no, it should be the first trade up in the top, but instead it's the last trade up in the top, if that makes sense. Uh, so it looks a bit messy, but it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so then we have the trade up ready up. Okay, so please, Inferno or that Deagle Knight or anything from Shop Shop. I've actually hit the Urban Rubble, uh, I think, two or three times before, but I've never hit the Peregrine, I've never hit the Knight, and I've never hit anything from the Inferno. Okay, can we get it? Let's see. Aw, damn, that kind of baited me. I saw the M4 and I was like, oh, is that the Tornado? Uh, that's that's a bit sad. So that's the first trade up done. Um, it's a loss. Uh, it's a very bad fail and a bit sad, but hey, let's hope for better luck in the second trade up. So the second trade up is going to be a 3-7 split uh, and the hit collections here, or well, the inputs are Office, Nuke and Militia. Uh, the office skin is a famous contrast spray in field tested uh, 0194 float. Then the nuke is a PP Bison irradiated alert uh, in 0159 field tested float. And then there's a XM1014 uh, grassland in 0166 field tested float. Um, the fillers range between 005 to 0079. The, the 791 is a control, so there's one control filler in this one as well. And um, the collections are the same as the last trade up it's Nuke and Inferno 2018. Um, there's not much more special to say, um, it's 2.86% uh, sorry, 2.86% uh, chance to hit. Um, about all, uh, all of the skins are about 20 euro if I hit them. Uh, and what I'm most hoping for here is the P2K grass and leaves, or um, after that, the new ones, since those I can also use in a trade up further. But the, the office is appreciated, of course, and I will hold on to that. Okay, so no more talking, let's just get into it. Okay, so we have the trade up here, and we'll begin with the contrast spray. Then we have the new one, and then the Venetia one, and then all the fillers. 
So what's particular about this trade-up, why they are overpriced, it might seem weird to you, but it's because it's such low float minimal wear, they are usable in trade-ups for O6 cap skins, and therefore they're worth a lot more. Okay, I've hit this trade-up uh, quite a few times before, let's hope to get that P2K or anything of the nice skins. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got the glitch! That means I'm gonna return to the home screen, then we'll see here, okay. Three, two, one. Aw, oh, that's not nice. That's a very bad fail. That's about 3.86 euro lost. Uh, it's gonna be in a decent float though. Uh, oh no, never mind. It's actually just gonna be a regular factory new float since it's um, not a uh, 06 cap outcome factory new trade up. So that's very sad. It's very shit. Oh, okay. Well,. Um, we lost both of those, that's two for two lost, and um, the third trade-up is quite a lot bigger, so let's get into that. So, the third trade-up is a 2-8 split, uh, with uh, the hit skins are Ancient and Havoc. The inputs uh, is gonna be 007 Gilead AR Dusk Ruins from Ancients, and then it's gonna be a P90 Tiger Pit 0066 from Havoc. The fillers, um, I believe it's six of them are Acid Fades from the Safe House collections as usual. They're all the 0026 to 002. And then we also have two uh, fail safes, uh, kind of. The M4A1S Berry Camo, which gives the P2K Amber Fade in a low float instead of the that really, really bad M4 Nitro. Those are 005 to 007, the inputs. And what we can get from this trade up is, of course, the Ancient and Havoc outcomes, which are really low floats. Um, the best outcome by price is going to be the Hypnotic, but I will be happy with any of the hit skins, and especially, for example, the Phoenix Blacklight. If I get a really nice pattern, I will be really happy about that. Um, I won't be that sad uh, over getting the P2K Amber Fade since of the float, uh, but still, of course, I want to hit um, this trade up. And the M4 Nitro will be really sad. Okay, can we make it one for three and one of the biggest trade ups in the video? Well, it is the biggest. Okay, so. There we go, the Ancient skin, the Havoc skin, then all of the fillers, the Dust fillers, and okay. So this one is quite big, it's about 36 euro. The odds are with us, at least to break even or really hit that nice skin. Okay, let's go. Oh no, we got the glitch again. Oh, that worries me. Okay, let's just go. Oh, nice! Nice, okay, Whew. that's so nice, we actually hit one of the trade-ups, I was so worried this was going to be a 3 for 3 loss, that's nice. Sadly, it's not any like insane pattern, you can see the phoenix is here, kinda, uh, but yeah, this is going to come in a really low float, so I'm happy about that, we actually hit the trade-up, I think that doesn't end this video in the big losses, and uh, we're going to be in a profit, okay, good. Uh, let's just inspect all of the floats. Um, but first, before we do that, I'm going to show you here the estimate loss and profits of today. So yeah, there you see. I believe it's going to be quite a good profit, but I haven't calculated it, of course. Okay, so uh, let's begin uh, with the floats. This will be the first trade up here, the M4 mainframe. It's a 006, so I'll save that for some scuff trade up. It's not worth selling anyway. Then we have the Cold Fusion. It's, it's a decent skin, but a very bad fail. 04 Factory New. And then, of course, we have the Galil Phoenix Blacklight, factory new. And it's a 0028, that's really nice. Sadly, not uh, the best pattern, it's it's kind of bad, but I like it, it's a low float. I'm getting quite lucky with getting the Phoenix Blacklight, but sadly, I'm not getting the good patterns. Hey, I can't complain, right? Okay, so, I am really happy about this video. Um, we ended with that big trade up and we hit it. Last video we didn't hit the, the big trade up which was a control trade up so I'm happy we did it to, today at least. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and um, have a nice day and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Check out the codes down below and yeah, have a nice one. Bye bye.